Monterey Bay Aquarium is essentially an underwater nature walk through the different habitats. I think of them as the neighborhoods of Monterey Bay. As you walk around our galleries, it's like exploring the different parts of the community that makes up the whole of Monterey Bay. Oh, the Monterey Bay Aquarium is essentially an underwater nature walk through Monterey Bay. Not literally, you're above water the whole time, but touring through the galleries here at the aquarium would be like putting on scuba gear and taking yourself on a dive around through the different habitats of Monterey Bay and exploring the communities of plants and animals that live throughout Monterey Bay. The purpose of the Monterey Bay Aquarium is really to give all of us a chance to dive into Monterey Bay, explore the amazing creatures that live out there, the remarkable habitats, and get a better sense of the larger part of our world, what lies beneath the surface of the oceans. Well, the aquarium goes back a number of years. The official opening of the aquarium was in October of 1984, and actually going back a few years before that goes to four biologists that were working next door to us at Hopkins Marine Station, which is part of Stanford University. They were looking at the old Hoveton sardine cannery here, which had closed in 1972, wondering what would ever become of this place. And one of them came up with the idea of an aquarium. And the more they talked about it, the more interesting they became in the idea. And that idea became more interesting as they talked about it. So the idea was submitted to the Packard family, two of the, the four founders, and the family as a whole got involved in this as a legacy project, a gift that they could give to the Central Coast community. Through their efforts in October of 1984, we have what became the Monterey Bay Aquarium. The original goal for the Monterey Bay Aquarium was essentially to give all of us, the, the general public, a chance to, to know more and appreciate more of what is beneath the surface of Monterey Bay. In more recent years, we've added to that with helping all of us not only understand, but also understand the need to take better care of our ocean resources. So in more recent years, I'd have to say that helping all of us understand and start caring for the oceans is our main goal. Monterey Bay is one of the most diverse ocean communities anywhere on the planet. It's a remarkable assemblage of thousands of species of plants and animals that live here in Monterey Bay and nowhere else can you find that same collection, that same tremendous diversity of marine life. If you asked our guests, the three most memorable exhibits would be our sea otter exhibit, the kelp forest, and probably our outer bay exhibit. Sea otters, of course, are always a big hit with everybody. They're amazing animals, and you can watch their behavior by the hour in the aquarium. That's always a favorite amongst our guests. Almost everybody has seen images of our kelp forest exhibit on magazines or other areas. The beautiful three-story tall windows looking into a living kelp forest exhibit right before your eyes, and all the remarkable fishes that live in that kelp forest habitat. In the outer bay, looking through that huge window, just into that expansive blue exhibit, magnificent tunas, the white shark, the giant ocean sunfish, all the other strange creatures that inhabit that mysterious outer bay, the open expanse of the oceans, just captivates everybody's imagination. And we have this front row seat on Monterey Bay, watching all the, the activities from the whales swimming by, the, the local fishermen, watching the seasons change here on the bay. This is a unique perspective on one of the most remarkable pieces of the world's oceans. And that goes way back, our history of sardine fishing, the uh, bay that John Steinbeck wrote about, and now the bay that you have a chance to explore by touring through the Monterey Bay Aquarium. It's an experience that nobody should miss. Well, physically, the aquarium is located right here on Cannery Row in Monterey and anybody coming to the Monterey Peninsula can just follow the signs to Cannery Row and the Monterey Bay Aquarium. But before you visit the aquarium, I would recommend visiting the aquarium's website at www.montereybayaquarium.org to get a chance to find out more about what the aquarium is like, plan your visit, then you're ready to take full advantage of the aquarium experience when you arrive.